Our leader after two rotations, Romania's Nadia Hatagan, just 14 years old. Let's see if she can hold on to that lead on beam again. Beam that... Oh, oh dear. Well, it's, it's a high-quality feel, but uh, just in this rotation, all sorts of problems for the leading gymnasts. Extremely difficult combination there, back flips into two back layouts. Just a shame that mount there. She just needs to forget about that. A lot of other girls have fallen on the beam, so you just don't know what is going to happen. Hadagan was first in the all-around at a recent Yokohama tournament. Again, the popular somersault on the beam. The gymnasts must also work close to the beam. We can often see that they do the Corbett somersault and do high movements. It's here in the handstand here, coming down. Sort of a back toss to the handstands. No, don't yeah. see that too often. Bit of innovative dance there. The Romanians are very good with their dance, especially the renowned on the floor. And the dismount. She handled very well. Nadia Hatagan. A problem in the first few seconds, but improved it after that. Here we go, we can see the other backflip into two back layout somersaults. Most gymnasts wouldn't fit that on the beam. She's quite a tall girl, so she has shorter flips. And there's that toss to the handstand. The next competitor on bars, Rebecca Stoyle from Australia. It's an amazing little uh, turn on what is such a narrow beam, just four inches, ten centimetres. Got to make it look like they're performing on the floor. Slightly off on that takeoff there. Now for Nadia Hatagan on the beam, 9.125. Uh, not a bad score considering her early problems and she's uh, in second place. 